from KUMB TV 8 in Williston, the area's news and information leader, Kerry Paulson. Marilyn Bitter. Diane Olson. And Ed Kendall. This is the Night Report. After a stormy three-hour conference, House and Senate conferees agreed to a sweeping crime bill today that would apply the death penalty to some 50 federal offenses. The $3.1 billion anti-crime package would also impose a five-day waiting period for handgun purchases. The waiting period requires police to conduct background checks of would-be buyers. The bill would also provide money to states to beef up police patrols in cities, set up residential drug treatment programs for prisoners, and start boot camp programs for eligible offenders. House Democrats say they plan to bring the bill up for vote tomorrow, while Senate Republicans vowed to fight passage and predicted a veto by President Bush if they failed. The space shuttle Atlantis got back on track with a successful liftoff tonight. Atlantis withstood a last-minute delay, and it's been smooth sailing since. Jay Barbary has more from the Kennedy Space Center. Engineers repaired a bad navigational unit that postponed the flight five days ago, and when the second countdown reached to zero, the shuttle Atlantis came to life for a rare nighttime liftoff. Liftoff of Atlantis and the six-man crew on a Department of Defense flight. The 18-story tall shuttle roared into the night, leaving a trail of fire the length of two football fields, putting on a light show that could be seen up to a distance of 500 miles. It disappeared into an orbit over the Atlantic, where the astronauts began their 10-day mission. Their first job was to deploy a $300 million satellite to join a network.